Hi, I'm Dr. Drew Hanks with the Smarter Lunchrooms Movement and the Cornell Center for Behavioral Economics in Child Nutrition Programs, otherwise known as the Ben Center. Today I have with me Mia Sarah, Michael, and Ashley, all from the food and Cornell Food and Brand Lab, who are going to help me demonstrate how we do tray waste in cafeterias. For this demonstration, we are going to use what we call the quarter method. It's where we estimate whether none, one quarter, half, three quarters, or all of an item was actually left on the tray. This is important to remember. We don't, we don't write, record how much the student ate, but how much they actually left on their tray. Okay, so for this demonstration, we have some trays of food, and we will have Mia Sarah calling out her estimation of what was left on the tray. Ashley will actually record those estimates, and then we have Michael here who will provide a validation check for, those for the data as well. So we'll go ahead and move forward with our estimation. For our first tray, for the apple juice, it looks about like half is left over, so I would say two. For the celery, it looks like it wasn't touched, so all of us left over, so I would say four. And then for the entree, I would say half of it's left over, so I would give that a two. Okay, I'm going to double check this. So, apple juice looks like uh, it's under a half, maybe closer to a quarter, so I'm going to say one. The celery, all of it looks like it's left, so that's a four. And then for the entree, I'm going to say half, so two. Great, so if you notice on this tray, they both agreed that all of the celery was left. If you remember back to the first video in this series, we actually saw a full serving of each food left on the tray. Now this is what we use to make these visual estimates. So once again, they both agreed that all of the celery was left, that was a full serving. They both agreed that about half of the entree, which is stir fry in this case, was left on the tray. But they didn't agree on how much, was, how much of the apple juice was left over. Me and Sarah thought about half, and Michael thought about one quarter was left. So what do we do in that case? Well, we can take an average of those two estimates. We enter both on the recording sheet, but we make a note. Uh, when we go through and enter the data, we make a note, and we make sure we take an average of both of those numbers. So for the second tray, I can't really tell what was on it or what was taken from it, because there's no traces, there's no crumbs, there's no smears. Um, so I would say NA not applicable. I agree. There's no traces of any foods, no crumbs, so it's NA. They both agreed on this one, but what do we do when you cannot tell what has been left on the tray? And they did exactly what needs to be done. They told the recorder to enter NA. You can also say unidentifiable. But why do we still use this tray? Because a student actually came through and took a meal. So it's important that we record that in the data. But from this tray, there are no crumbs or anything left. So we can't even tell what the students took. For the next tray, we have an apple that seems to be mostly there, just somebody taken out of it. So I would say um, all of it's left over, so that's a four. And then for the sandwich, I would say about half of it was eaten, so half of it's left over, so that would be a two. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's just about a bite taken out, so almost all of it's there, that's a four. And then it looks like exactly half of the sandwich is there, so that's a two. Very good, they both agreed, so it makes it a little easier. But I'd like to point out that they both said that one bite of the apple was taken, and so they both said that the full apple was, uh, was left, and so none of it was wasted. And that's important to note. That's important to note because sometimes just a little bit was eaten, but pretty much all of it was left over. So they did a good job in determining that the full amount was still left on the tray. Um, for the chips, I would say that 
half of it was left over, so that would be two. And then for the soup, it seems as though half of it's left over, so I would give it two. So all the milk is there, so that's going to be a four. Uh, the chips looks like about a quarter is there. I'm going to say one, and then the soup looks like it's pretty close to half, so two. Okay, great. So they agreed on the milk. All was left on the tray and they agreed on the soup, that about half of the serving was left. They disagreed on the chips. Sometimes chips are difficult because the bags aren't completely full when they come out of the packaging plant. So it's just difficult to tell what a full serving might be. But once again, in that scenario, we just average the two estimates together, and that's what we use in the analysis. say that the milk, half of it's left over, so it's two. And then for the grapes, I would say two as well, half is left over. And then for the soup, it's pretty much gone, just some smears left over. So I would say zero. Okay, double check. The milk looks like to be about half, so two. The grapes look like there's about half left, so two as well. And like Mayor Sarah said, there's just a few smears left of the soup, so it's pretty much gone, so that's zero. Great. With this one they agreed, and once again you look at, there's just a little bit left here in the soup, and in that case we just rounded down, what we would say, to the, to the fact that all, was, all of the soup was uh, eaten. None was wasted. For the last tray, I would say that three quarters of the cookies left over, so that would be a three. Um, since there's only a bit of the sandwich left over, it's basically a large crumb, so I would say that zero is left over, so zero. And then for the carrots, I say that a quarter of the carrots are left over, so I would give that a one. And then for the orange juice, I'd say that half of the orange juice is left over, so I'd give it a two. Okay, so for the cookie, it looks like there's just a few bites taken out, so I'm going to say three quarters, so I'll put down a three. Um, for the sandwich, it's just the crumb left, it's pretty much all gone, so that's a zero. The carrots, look like there's about a quarter left, so that's one. And for the orange juice, looks like that's a two. Okay, so in this particular case, they agreed on what was left on the tray. I'd like to point out that there was one crumb left from that sandwich, and they, they did just what needed to be done in determining that Pretty much the full sandwich was eaten. So this concludes our demonstration of tray waste measurements. And I'd like to point out a few things before we wrap up this video. One is we had a validation check as well as the original caller. And for what we did was say we can average those two, uh, average those two estimates in the analysis. But also we want to make sure we keep those separate for when, so we can double check and see how the results might vary based on, based on their, their estimates of tray waste. Second point is even if a small, just a small amount is left over, we still typically round down and say that that full amount was eaten. And finally, depending on your how much space you have in your cafeteria, or how many people you have to go do tray waste with you, you may not be able to have a set, a setting like this where you can easily place trays on a table, or you might not have enough people to call out and record, or even direct traffic as we talked about in an earlier, in an earlier video. In those cases, what you do is you do your best with the resources you have, 
In some situations, we even had just one person go into a cafeteria and stand next to the garbage can because we didn't have the manpower or the space to set up a nice station. So it really depends on the cafeteria space you have and how many people you can bring with you to do the tray waste. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us. We have plenty of resources available at www.smarterlunchrooms.org. So please contact us with any questions you might have. And remember, it's not nutrition until it's eaten.